Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. We'll see how it goes for this decorated kickboxer. Nice to see him cross over into the UFC. And a lot of people feel like if he can get on sort of an Alex Pereira type trajectory in terms of the work ethic and the approach, could be a future world champion. Well, he looks like it. He seems to have all the skills and he says the right thing. When we were talking to him the other day, he spoke about all the time they're spending in the gym working on the wrestling because he knows that the kickboxing is embedded in him. He has done it so long, he can do it on cruise control. But the wrestling has improved. And he said because his wrestling's improved, guys are going to have to stand with him. And when they have to stand, he said the lights will be shut off. Yeah, I he, cannot wait to see him perform. Dude's got power everywhere, and that's why a lot of these fans have traveled far and wide to see him compete live here tonight. Michael Bisman is ready to engage yet again. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Michael the Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. So here is the future Hall of Famer and former UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping, known primarily as a striker, but if he needs to go to the takedown, he is not afraid to do so. Has some jiu-jitsu skills as well. Prevailing wisdom, though, is that Michael Bisping is going to try to throw hands and kicks here in this matchup tonight. Nice combination there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Pace here in the early going. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice strike. Oh, beautiful job to snap his head back with that counter strike. So he's landed several of his passive counters here in this round. Really doing an excellent job, not just with his offensive timing, but with his defensive skills as well. Nice body shot. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, nice. There's that jab. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you got to be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you got to slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet or take down his back. 
but ideally for him, he wants to be knocking guys out. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. One-two punch by Bisman. Beautiful right hook counter. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Bisping's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, collar tie. Pretty strong jab there by Bisping. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, beautiful counter. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Landing upside of the opponent's head over and over again. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. Just misses with the straight right. Nice straight right, Lance. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job following the game plan. Under a minute now to go. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. This big nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight. Ready. Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. That's why you did a fantastic job when they put these two in the opposite. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. His pink's really bleeding heavily now. You gotta think they might bring in the ringside position to take a look at that cut between rounds. Just out of range with that left hook. Ooh, big shot land. Nice straight right hand. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away, but that's a testament to the head, the activity, and the awareness of this fighter defensively. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot 
lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working. And it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment the fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. His kickboxer looks amazing now. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. His face cut right on the bridge of his nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you got to think the ringside position will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He mixes it up beautifully. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. Oh! That leg kick hurt. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his strength. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. This means an absolute... Oh, no. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is... Oh, my goodness! Oh! Back to his feet. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Try to separate. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Wow, this is getting hard to hurt again. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Oh! Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Fifteen seconds. Stay on that cut for me. Two rounds in the books. Oh, All right, heading back to the corner, and Bisping's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time, and ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous They round. both took some damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see the foot goes down first. Oh, hook to the head by Bispin. Missed with that jab attempted. 
Bisbing's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only going to get worse as this fight continues. Bisping's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Oh, big left. There it is. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Punch. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy. Oh. Back to the feet. Big ground and pound. Nice job by him there to move in the half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, man, he's just getting tattooed on that already compromised spot. Might need to call in the doctor here if you're the referee, sir. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Beautiful right hook counter. Slips that left hand. Oh, huge right hand! Right well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, you land my land. Is that what we're doing here? Bisping's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter. Oh! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, the cooler. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.